In this video, I will be testing the waters of Chicago. The city of Chicago mainly gets its drinking water from Lake Michigan. It is then purified at the treatment plant through a complex process. According to the Chicago Water Management Department, the water will go through a 10-step process while using many different chemicals like chlorine, aluminum sulfate, and activated carbon to treat the water. But I was curious to figure out what the water was like before it is treated. That's why I decided to go out and collect samples of water from the Chicago River and Lake Michigan. I decided to gather water from eight different spots around Chicago. The first one being at the North Pond of Lincoln Park, the next one at the mouth of the Chicago River near Lakeshore Drive, the south side of the Chicago River near the Ping Tom Park, and the north side of the Chicago River by Goose Island. Then I collected four samples from Michigan Lake. The first one being from North Avenue Beach, the next one from Navy Pier, right next to the water treatment plant, the next one from Grant Park, and the last one was from Northerly Island in the harbor area. Alright, so I just got back from collecting all the water at eight locations. And it's a little hard to tell on camera, but you can definitely see a col coloration in the rest with North Pond, and there's a little bit of slight yellow in the Chicago River and the Goose Island ones. But these ones that I got that were pretty close to Michigan Lake are clearer than the others. Not sure why. After doing some research, I discovered that the reason why Lake Michigan's water is much more clear than let's say the North Pond for example, is simply because it has less phytoplankton in the water. Okay, so now we're going to test the pH levels of each of the water samples with a pH meter. Now what pH is, it's the measurement of how acidic or basic the water is. The scale can range from 0 to 14, with 7 being the neutral and the best quality of pH for your drinking water. Anything that is below 7 is considered to be acidic, and anything above 7 is considered to be a base. Acidic levels that are under 7 are typically found in milk, coffee, soda, lemon juice, vinegar, and battery acid. Base levels that are above 7 are typically found in seawater, ammonia solutions, bleach, or drain cleaners. So why is pH so important to water? If water reaches below or above 7, the neutral level, it means that the water has some acidic or basic properties to it which could be potentially harmful to your body. When the pH is not close enough to 7 for drinking water, this means that it could contain iron, copper, lead, or zinc giving it that metallic taste. These metals that are in the water could pose very minor health risks for you. So what this little device does is once I turn it on and stick it in the water, it'll tell us the pH reading of that water. So first we're going to test the North Pond water, which is the gross little yellow water. Now I'm going to place the water into my little measuring cup, just about halfway full. And I'm going to turn on my pH meter and then I'm going to stick it in and wait for a measurement. It looks like it's stuck around 10.15 pH. All right, now we're gonna try the goose water sample. See what we get. All right, and it looks like it's sticking around 8.9. And now we're gonna test the pH levels of the southern end of the Chicago River near the Ping Tom Memorial Park. All right, and it looks like we're getting a reading of about 8.6, no, 8.7, which would also make it a basic. All right, and now we're going to test the pH levels of the Chicago River near the Riverwalk. All right, and it looks like we're getting a reading of about 8.5 and climbing. All right, it looks like it's stuck around 8.55, which would also be a base. Now we're going to test the pH levels of Michigan Lake near North Avenue Beach. Right, and it looks like it's going to sit at 8.5 which would also be a base. Okay, and now we're gonna test the pH levels of Michigan Lake right next to Navy Pier and Chicago's water treatment plant. And it looks like it's gonna sit at 8.55, which is also a base. 
All right, now we're gonna test the pH levels of Michigan Lake near Grant Park in the Buckingham Fountain. And it looks like it's gonna stick at 8.45, which is a base. And finally, we're gonna test the pH levels of the water in the harbor at Northern Lee Island. It looks like it's gonna stop there at 8.48. Oh, 8 we'll call it good. And that would also be a base. All right, so now we're gonna compare the untreated water to the treated water and see how their pH levels compare. So in this cup, we have unfiltered tap water that came just right out of my sink. It's gonna reach at 8.00 pH even. Now I am testing the pH level of filtered tap water using a Brita pitcher. I think we're gonna call it at 7.09, which is pretty neutral. So the reason why I compared the untreated water of Chicago versus the treated water of Chicago is because in most cities, it is required that the pH levels are to be kept between 6.5 and 8.5 for their treated drinking water. The unfiltered tap water sat around just about eight, so it fall within the range. Um, and the filtered drinking water stayed just around seven, which is neutral. So they're both within the required recommendations, which is good. Most of the untreated water that was in the lakes and in the rivers and in the ponds was all way over the required level and therefore it would not be good for you to drink but it would also not be good for you to drink any of the unfiltered waters as well as they contain a lot of bacteria that's left untreated which can lead to a whole bunch of disease waterborne diseases and stuff like that so how does this affect the communities of chicago well it's obvious enough that the water that runs throughout our rivers ponds and in the lake are just simply not safe enough to drink unless treated it doesn't matter if you live up in the north suburbs of Chicago or down in the south side. None of the water here is safe to drink without any sort of treatment. Not only because of the high pH levels, but because of the enormous amount of harmful bacteria that is in the water. However, as long as the city continues to treat the water correctly, you should still be able to drink it, even if it may not taste the best, but it's still better than what's in the river. In my opinion, I recommend having an additional filter installed in your home if you live in Chicago, either by attaching one to your sink or using a Brita pitcher, for example. This way, you will have much cleaner water and rid of any leftover chemicals used during the treatment process. Water is important to all of us. Not only does it keep us all alive, but it also can bring us all closer together. But we must take care of the water. Treat it like it's your best friend. After all, we need it to survive.